How's it going, YouTube? Internet? Um, before we get started, I gotta thank my future sponsor. I really hope you can see it. I don't have my contacts in, and I don't have glasses because I don't like glasses. So... Uh, this video, if you can tell from the time card, is going to be longer than anything I think I've ever uploaded. Um, so, with that being said, what's this video about? Well, I realize I've never made like an introductory introduction, intro <coughs> an introduction video um, about myself, who I am, what do I do. And I think now I've just gotten to a place of confidence where I feel like it's it's finally time I do something like this but also cross it over with this other project that I've been wanting to do for a pretty good while now. Um, so let's start off with, who am I? Uh, my name is Edgar Gonzalez. I'm from Texas. Uh, I currently live in Arizona and I am 20 years old right now. I uh, moved from Texas when I was 12. And for as long as I can remember, um, I've been in love and have just always love the idea of making videos and I mean I, I can't even pinpoint it because I could say I started off making videos from you know just taking my mom's phone and doing just random stuff doing like these little mini vlogs um, which actually was something that I did I think I was about like oh, damn maybe like seven eight years old um, around that time and and yeah like i i would always play games on her phone i was born in 03 so that's you know anybody else that that is around my age can probably relate to that um i would play games on her phone and in the process i would always just like pull up the camera um and just start recording what was going on around us start recording myself um and she, like it was always it was always like like a vlog kind of thing and at that time i would watch youtube but it was always like um like lego videos uh more more so like lego animations or even just like animations in themselves um who was uh, a lot of what i was watching was like alex wasabi at that time too with his little sketches um and who else was i watching um Smosh was was one of them. This was like I'm saying like early, early like t you not super early, but this was probably like maybe um what maybe like five years after you so like 2010, 2012 ish. Um, that like yeah, this was this was pretty pretty early on, and and so from watching that, I always got inspired and just got this like passion to want to make videos. Uh, because they were so entertaining and it wasn't even more so because like I wanted to be famous or because I wanted to be an entertainer It was more along the lines of just like um, I think expression Just being able to show who you are whether it's scripted or not like it's just presenting yourself in a manner of I, I think confidence and and that was something growing up. I never really had was confidence um, up until now as you can probably um, assume from, you know, taking this video or ta recording this audio. Uh, but then fast forward a little bit and, uh, I had, I remember I got like a 3DS for, I think it was either Christmas or my birthday. And from there it has this little feature where you had a little, it, uh, <laughs> it allows you to take a stop motion video. Um, so rather than having to take like a bunch of pictures and then upload it and then sequence them together, uh, the feature would actually already have that implemented and it would do that. So all you would have to do was basically just keep taking pictures, but it was in the form of a video, if that makes sense. And so I like loved playing with Legos at the time. And, uh, I would, I would set up my Legos to, you know, do a certain motion or I would, I would practice, dude, it was, it was crazy because I would learn like, you know, how many frames, uh, does it take to get like this sort of motion or how, how many frames does it take to make it clear? How, how, how much of a, um, of, of like, a uh, what is it called? 
how, we'll just say like how much of an inch would I have to move um, this figure's arm or this figure's leg or you know this brick to create this effect and it was actually great keep in mind I was like probably by this time I was probably like nine or ten um, and, and so it was very very like advanced for what at least the other kids that I knew of were doing um, but the, but this is like you know actual like development and actual like strategy and, and and precision looking back it was actually kind of cool to you know to think about it I, I might have actually even been younger i don't know i'll i'll correct the timeline not at the bottom of the screen or anything if anything but um but yeah so then i would do that and then by the time that i was 12 i had gotten my uh very first console outside of a nintendo which I guess I wouldn't call it my first console, but I'd gotten an Xbox and from there they also had like a screen record uh, feature and uh, Oh man, I forgot so Prior to that like a little bit prior to that um, I Would actually record videos on my phone um, Through like a screen recorder and at that time because you know everything was free This was keep in mind. This is probably like 20. This is like 2016 um so this is like the peak of everything right like youtube you had pewdiepie smosh um who else was there vanos gaming markiplier like everybody like that is probably still around today um i mean this is like the peak vine was still around dude i'm the peak of internet and like the entertainment is just going crazy right well at the same time this like a little bit prior to that was pro was when i was introduced to to vanos gaming um just through like on the explore page or, or home page of youtube and then i started watching some of the videos fell in love so then my passion went more so from um how, like stop motion and 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 animation to actual like uh gaming because at that time i was like always i was also big into video games um and so I was like, oh man, you can you can capture your experience playing with your friends or you know playing this game. Like, let's do it. So fast forward then to to when I um, downloaded this screen recorder and I would record like these these little mobile games, uh, these little sessions that I, I had with my friends, and it was always funny. It was always fun. But then eventually, it got to the point where the screen recorder app that I was using ended up having like a subscription. So then you had to pay to use it. And it sucked because then every other screen recorder I tried to get after that, um, you had to either pay for like a full access uh, thing, like outside of the free version, uh, or it wouldn't record like the phone calls. And at that time, me and, at least me, I can't say all of my friends, but we didn't, we had no idea like what Discord was, which it probably would have worked on that, but I don't know. Um, so none, none of these screen sharing or excuse me, screen recording apps would, uh, record the phone calls anymore. So I was like, dang, like, what do I do from here? So, <clears throat> um, another important thing that I forgot was, um, from recording all these mobile games sessions and all that, uh, th this was actually the start of my first YouTube channel. Uh, so if you know me long enough, you know, with the name i'm not gonna say the name because i've like archived it um but if you know me long enough you remember those days of me uploading and <laughs> and then from there uh i started a youtube channel i uploaded like all these little sessions um and and these were like not edited these were just raw so what i would do at the time was i would record like eight ten minute uh intervals of video so i would like you know we would be playing or excuse me, I would record, we'd be playing for like 10 minutes, um, I would end the recording and then start a new recording. And from there, that's how I got like multiple videos out of stuff. Which again, pretty innovative and pretty interesting for like, for a kid with, with the resources of the, basically the equivalent of like sticks and stones in terms of like content creation, right? And so from there, and then I got the Xbox, and then I would use the screen, um, the screen recording thing. But what I didn't know, and what I kind of just ended up still rolling with anyway, was um, with the screen recording, it would only record like the gameplay, uh, and it wouldn't record like the audio, like the party chat audio, which 
sucked but but you know it, it is what it is so from then on um i just started recording that and this was like all throughout maybe not middle school because i moved here my seventh grade year so between seventh and eighth grade year this is like what i was doing um and then uh my freshman year came around uh of freshman year of high school excuse me and then i kind of just stopped uploading um i got into sports and and like i got into other interests and for the time being and and distracted uh, one of the biggest things was girls but another thing was also like i i actually had gotten comfortable with the state and with just being acclimated now to to the new environment um because like i said i was 12 years old when i moved here and so by that point i was still holding on to like my friends in texas and all that through playing these games which was nice um but then uh, like i said by my freshman year like i had met a bunch of new people um i actually had a glow up uh, because between eighth grade year and, f and ninth grade year it was just crazy I, I had gotten a haircut i had gotten contacts i mean it was just a new me right so again the confidence um kind of blew up and, and that was a, like a new experience for me too and from there it you know I, I just mainly focused on high school and i didn't really do much um with video or content creation up until i think it was my my junior year uh because that's when well excuse me it was, it was sophomore year sophomore year going into junior year um because that's when quarantine uh 2020 had had happened and from there i kind of got back into it with like tiktok or excuse me i kind of got back into content creation with like through tiktok and, and um not so much instagram at that time that was probably like a little bit later down the road but for the most part i was mainly experimenting with tiktok just because you know they had they had shut down vine they musically was a thing but i never really used it tiktok eventually like around 29 i think it was like the end of 2019 was when it started getting big and i never really like found a reason to install it up until one day i just got bored and i just installed it so i was like you know let me see what what the fuss is about and it was actually pretty cool like the content was pretty pretty entertaining um and the, i want to say this was around like november december of 2019 so then by the time like march of 2020 came around that's when i was already kind of more familiar with it used to it although i didn't upload my very first tiktok until january of I want to say it was January of 2021. Yeah, I'll I'll see if I can like scroll that deep into my feed, but yeah, that 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 was uh that was like my very first TikTok that I ever uploaded and it actually was pretty cool. Um by this point I was already driving, so I had gone into the cars and and I I was already certain that I was going to make this TikTok page um like a car page almost um of just me doing stuff with my car or me just talking about cars posting about cars and while all the while still having my instagram my personal instagram but i i didn't really like post anything on there much um what else and then from then on just throughout the rest of 2021 i was still posting videos i think by june of 21 i actually started i got back on youtube um not on the same channel i made a different channel and this was around the time that i was also like oh should i still keep that other channel should i archive it like what should i do because nobody knew like nobody in, you know in arizona at least knew about this channel um the only people who did were like my texas friends and even though they might see this and be like oh damn like that you know that channel uh, i haven't heard that name in years or i haven't thought of that in years but um but yeah so so then i got back on youtube a little bit started posting stuff about like like financial literacy stuff about money boring boring videos excuse me there were attempts at like vlogs here and there but it, it, it was really boring just the way the videos 
were were made the quality of of what was, like the actual like content itself like what the, was going on in the video wasn't really all that exciting if i'm being honest and um looking back on it now i think those got way more views than what they should have <laughs> the only reason they did was because i was plugging it on my instagram and i was pretty well known uh during high school too so everybody was like oh yeah you know he's making some uh, click on it and I'm sure they maybe only sticked around, stuck around for like three seconds, but, <laughs> um, but then, uh, what else? Uh, I still kept going with the TikTok thing. Um, and then up until I graduated, it had mainly been like TikTok and, and YouTube. And I think in between that time I had made like one reel cause this was around the time that reels came out, but it, it was just something, something kind of slight, very pretty kind of, kind of neatly edited um but my very very first like video where i had kind of like hopped on a trend um and it was also like an edit so it was, it was pretty interesting um and then the i graduated in 2022 so then after high school i started then posting a little bit more on on reels on instagram um posted more on tiktok and then uh, switched up the content a little bit on my YouTube. Fast forward between then and 2023, a lot, a lot, a lot of experimenting between like a, a gym page. Um, a gym page, a car page, and, and just like a personal, I guess. Um, but now with where I'm at, <laughs> um, I have a personal Instagram. My TikTok still is, I guess you could say operated as a car page. That's mainly what my primary demographic is. Um, I have my, as of recently, my gym Instagram account. Uh, my The same account, but on TikTok. So my TikTok gym account. Uh, and my YouTube, which kind of hits everything it's just whatever i have going on uh so then that brings us to now and now i'm making this introduction video so as to kind of better tell my story but give myself a little bit of context along with crossing over with what i was talking about earlier which is a podcast and now i know a lot of people talk about wanting to start a podcast i wanted to do a podcast and not everybody can do a podcast and uh, believe me i'm not saying uh, i'm not i'm capable or you know qualified to do a podcast i think if anything i'm far from that just given the amount of times i say um but yeah and and <laughs> so i think it'll be an interesting experience just to kind of just shoot this out there and see what happens especially because i do love talking now this will probably be one of the few if not the only videos or or podcasts uh if i can call it that yet where it's just gonna be me by myself for the most part i'm gonna have a guest or i'm gonna have someone here talking with me talking to someone uh because these videos of just me myself like I, I don't have much going on to where it can be entertaining uh just with myself i'm not and and that's not even trying to like how do i say it sound dependent on anybody but i mean it's true i i truthfully work better and and am able to express myself a little bit more around other people and oh excuse me and so oh my goodness excuse me the celsius is uh it's working the bubbles a little bit but so that's where i'm at now one thing i did kind of forget to uh say at the beginning of the video which i'll probably just jump cut it from here so yeah so where am i now um now i'm still in arizona uh i'm trying to be a little bit more consistent with my tiktok instagram and everything on my account youtube is a little bit different but this is kind of turning over a new leaf on that so we'll see what happens but um ultimately my goal is to kind of be able to get away from work because i'm working right now but get away from a job and and turn this into my job not even for the sake of money but for the sake of passion because 
really thinking about it, I mean, I've been making videos for as long as I can remember. And now that I have the resources to do what I can do, like I, I can show you now, I have two ring lights set up. I have a GoPro behind this camera. I have a dual monitor set up with a microphone, basically a streaming setup. Everything, almost everything at least that I have around me is based and ready to get, like start making content. And the fact that I haven't been consistent with it is kind of something that I've really just uh, found disappointing in myself, um, especially with how much I want to do it and how little work I put into it sometimes. Um, so maybe through this, I be can become a little bit more uh, more disciplined, um, especially because we're not even gonna talk about how much I've actually invested in everything to kind of get to where I'm at today. And this is even before I have the views or I have anything. I mean, I really should have started with something as small as like my camera phone, which for a period of time I did use. And now that I have like an actual you know higher grade quality camera the fact that i'm able to use that i'm like it's it's like why am i why aren't i using it i should say so now we're here basically i'm i'm just trying to be uh more productive i really want to focus more on producing more quality content than just focusing on getting out as much content as possible <coughs> excuse me um because that's something I've always, I've also always appreciated, which is more, more quality. And I, and and that's a, not just me. I think that's anybody and everybody, where people will appreciate more uh, quality content than they will quantity. Um, especially because, and as a very impatient person myself, this is something that I agree with, but find it hard to do myself. But but good things really do take time. And as much as I, you know, really want something looking back and, and just doing some reflecting, I realized that a lot of the best things that have happened in my life took either the longest to occur or, or, you know, it was over a period or duration of time. And, you know, I couldn't be more grateful for the actual process of that. And, you know, kind of a similar thing being done here where I'm falling in love with more so of the process than I am of where I'll be in, in, you know, by next year, if I keep this up or two years or five years or however long. Um, and so that that's, that's where I'm at now. That's where, I, you know, kind of a little bit of where I want to get into, uh, in the next coming future. Um, so with all that out the way, Sponsor time, uh, drink Celsius. I had one earlier on my way to the gym, so I'm a fiend. I don't, I don't usually drink two, uh, you know, on the same day, but, and, and I wasn't really planning on making this video today either, but here we are. So one thing that, you know, is either going to make or break whatever happens with this video but something I, I I will declare about myself because I, for one, don't care what people think. Two, it is probably the most important thing in not only my life, but just in life in general. And three, like, it's not, it's something that's not openly discussed. And that's also something I want to kind of break the boundaries on is getting on topics or getting, you know, talking about things that aren't ever really, um, discussed just out of that fear and lack of, um, how do I say it? Just people not wanting to either be accountable for what they say or, you know, for, for people, uh, being fearful of what might happen kind of almost like the like the backlash or almost like what what you know what's going to be the consequence to saying this so with that being said um i am proudly and will announce it to the world as i am now a hard follower of christ now here's my testimony um Again, around the time that I was like nine or 10, um, my uncle actually introduced me to the faith and he was the one to give me my very first cross, which it isn't this one. Unfortunately, I did lose it a couple of years back. Um, 
Sorry, Theo, if you're watching this. Um, he, as my very first Bible, he actually bought me like the the Action Bible, um, only only real ones and all what that is. But it it was cool, and I read um the first couple pages or uh, excuse me chapters of Genesis, in it and. From then on, I was, I was, you know, I, I had accepted Christ as my savior. Um, I, I was very, what's the word? A follower, basically. Um, I had faith in, you know, the fact that, um, that Christ was Lord. But then around the time of moving over here to Arizona, um, I, I had grown kind of distant, um, from God and, and not so much through, when I say choice, because I, I want to use the word choice, but not in the sense of like I, I chose or like I, I willingly distance myself from, from God. It was more just through the, um, how do I say it? Just the lack of, of wisdom of how to, how to turn to God in, in the situation that I was where you know, I, I felt almost like isolated, alone uh, at the fact that I was in a new environment and that I didn't have, you know, a, a um, I don't want to say an outlet, but, you know, you, almost like a way to cope. Um, Christ would have been the answer to that, you know, looking, looking back to then. Uh, but Christ would have been the answer looking back. Uh, of course, I didn't know that, especially because I didn't have much guidance on that aside from my uncle. But then, you know, it, it was just, I, I had grown distant and, you know, just lived the rest of my middle school life, high school, uh, even sometime after high school. And up, in, up until now, or excuse me, up until last year was really when I came back to the faith um, because my sister had left her, um, her two children with, with me and my mom. Uh, just just for a couple weeks during the summer, they didn't they were out of school, um, and they had been wanting to come visit. So, you know, we the, we we took the liberty of of taking care of them and watching them, and and yeah, it was awesome. I mean, being able to 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 really to serve these guys and and being feeling that that uh, sense of responsibility for them was really like something different i can't say i felt like their their parent or or you know their dad but i definitely felt like 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 an uncle um like um just like a gar a guardian almost and i can't really describe it but there was something just about being in their presence teaching them these lessons of or mainly my nephew of you know uh, of like how to fight how to how to do this around the house how to take care of this how to you know go about doing this i remember um i took him sliding in my car and he loved it uh i let him you know rev the the car that i had and, and as for my niece you know she's a little bit older than my nephew and, and so just talking with her you know, I was able to kind of pass down a little bit of, of what I knew since she was going into high school at that time. Kind of, I was able to pass down, you know, sort of what I knew and my experiences and kind of prepare her a little bit for, for what was to come. And, dude, it was such a, like, it, 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 was, it was really interesting just being able to fill, not so much fill a role, but kind of step into a set of shoes that were filled for me in the past, you know, kind of, this, this will be, this will be something that gets brought up in the future, I'm sure, but, um, uh, my uncle was a very big role model and, and, um, a fate, important figure in my life. And so just this idea of being, being basically like a badass uncle, uh, it's, it's a really, cool and, and fulfilling thought that you know i'm able to to be that or the fact that they see me as that overall it's, it's just healing and i can't again i can't describe what it was but just something ignited inside of me that 
Af- and, and it wasn't even after they left. This was like during their duration or their stay here with us that something was like, turn to Christ or come back to Christ. Like it, it was so not necessarily out of the blue, but but even just leading up to that point, it, there were like I was getting a whole bunch of signs, almost as if God was kind of calling me back to His kingdom. And from there, um, I had actually asked one of my friends um, if I could borrow a Bible that I knew he had because he was actually going along with his spiritual journey a good amount of time before I did, and I had uh, just finished letting him borrow a book. And so I was like, I maybe I got a little bit of, of, you know, book credit to use up. So I asked him for it and he was like, yeah, dude, like I'll, I'll lend it to you. Now, he ended up giving me the Bible, but as far as whether he said he let me use it, lend it, whatever the case may be, I forgot. But point being, he gave me that Bible to start reading and forever grateful for it. I thought this is actually the Bible that I finished. Uh, the New Testament, and from there just really expanded my knowledge on um, on Christ, his teachings, and, and just, just the faith in itself, right? And since then, this was probably, this was like July of 2023, so, and, and since then, I mean, my walk with Christ has been very much a uh, <laughs> journey and, and very, um, what's the word, full of trials. I think really to see if if you know I'm I'm really gonna follow the the word and the teachings of Christ, but and just follow Christ um, entirely, and hopefully I'm able to prove that if I haven't already. But now you know I'm just at a at a point of where I understand that Christ is the way, and actually as of recently I got myself a new Bible. Dude, check this thing out. Dude, this is so sick. I don't know if you can see the engravings on that. But, yeah, so this is this is my brand new Bible. It's my, I can't say this is my first Bible. Because, uh, I'm not going to lie, I think the uh, action Bible got misplaced during the move. So, uh, this is it. This is like, this is going to be my, like, my, my, uh, we'll say spiritual strap that I carry with me. Just the way this this looks, feels, like this feels like mine. This, as much as I appreciate this Bible, um, it, it, this is this is probably one that I'll hold close to me. I'm, I'm definitely gonna keep this one. Um, but th- this other Bible, it, it, it feels almost like as if God when I was in the bookstore, it almost feels like God just like turned my head for me. It was like that one. Then I, you know, from there I, I got it, purchased it, um, and here we are. So, um, where are we at for time? Man, this might actually be like a shorter episode. So, uh, man, what else did I have to say? <laughs> I think that was primarily it for the, the most part as far as uh, as far as an introduction I'm just gonna fix the setup here if you have any questions or want me to go over anything in well, you know the next episode or you know moving forward just for sure leave anything and everything you have to say in the comments uh, in the episode following whatever I post uh, I will definitely review and look over the comments and kind of answer as many questions as possible um, but I think, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's anything else I have to say much uh, outside of like, you know, just mainly like a Q&A thing. I, I'm really excited for this, um, especially because the first guest that I'll have for this is is someone, he's one of my best friends, um, but it'll, it'll be really cool. It'll be interesting to actually catch like a discussion, like what we're going to have you, you know on camera and then you know, eventually be able to like play it back and, and look at it uh, but as far as i'm concerned um that's really honestly about it for the introduction i really thought that was gonna take longer 
uh, than what it actually is. So, yeah, I'm gonna take one more sip, just one more mention from uh, from our sponsor, not sponsor. Drink Celsius. On on the real though, like not even I I promise I'm not being paid. I'm probably getting like I'm probably having to pay to say this, but in all honesty, Celsius is probably one of the better um, energy drinks on the market right now. Uh, as a uh, gym goer slash just caffeine fiend, I've kind of been around the block with certain energy drinks. Um, there's certain ones I have not touched just out of just fear from the label <laughs> but celsius honestly like just by looking at the ingredients um is probably one of the better uh healthier alternatives you can find on the market at least it's in terms of how it actually provides you energy a lot and, and i know you hear this a lot from other brands but a lot of times you know you'll have more sugar loaded mixed with caffeine or excuse me you'll have more sugar sugar and caffeine as the primary source of energy for these energy drinks um celsius actually uses like vitamins and caffeine a majority of which are from natural sources and really the only thing artificial is like the flavor but it's an energy drink i mean it, it, just by the name energy drink you got to understand you're also stepping into the ring of some sort of you know uh not healthy arena <laughs> and but as far as energy drinks go, I highly, highly recommend them. Uh, they taste awesome. They don't make you feel as like overly anxious or overly worked up or even sometimes as like as gross as some energy drinks just to my experience that I've had made me feel like. Um, by far one of my more favorite drinks, just favorite um uh brands probably that i use pretty frequently so uh, i highly recommend them try them out if i'm wrong i'll uh, i don't know i'll, I'll give someone a dollar we'll see <laughs> but uh from there i think something i kind of shouldn't go over to is what i expect or what i kind of i'm looking forward to moving forward with this because this is something that i do plan on doing pretty frequently as far as how frequently i will be uploading or posting these i do not know so uh we'll see but oh excuse me as far as what i expect from this i do expect that i won't be getting as many views as I'd like or that this you know likely won't blow up upon the initial release likely after some time it'll draw attention catch some attention and then by that point from me consistently uploading everybody will kind of catch up and then eventually I'll be able to get to where I want to get to now with that being said I think I should just put my faith in God too that he will will present and show this video to the people who either need it um to the people that are like-minded or to the people that genuinely are just probably interested in what i have to say um or what i have going on in my videos and and, and just on my platforms um some some goals of mine from this though is to definitely be more consistent with posting uh, not just this, but, but like I said, all my other platforms of, of like my gym accounts, uh, my car page and just my personal, um, my personal, I could kind of honestly just care less about how often I'm actually posting on there, especially cause I use that as like either a bridge or as like an actual, uh, like a, just like a plug to my other platforms since that's probably one of my bigger, um, accounts except for the tiktok one my tiktok car page uh is for sure my biggest account uh but and and also just quick side note with all of these accounts mentioned i will leave a link to all of these accounts in the description um to not just this video but to every video following um following this one so alrighty though i think i'm gonna i think i'm gonna i'm gonna call it here uh, <clears throat> mainly because my camera is struggling to keep up with this, uh, which I don't blame it because, 
I, I ran out like 50% at the start of this, so uh, we'll see. But let me know what you guys thought. Um, again, I will be trying to uh, pursue this a little bit more and be, be very, very much consistent with this. Uh, before I do head out, though, remember, drink Celsius. A lot of the video, or excuse me, of the, yeah, I'm about to say video. A lot of this, the previous clip got cut out because the camera got overheated. So, I'm just going to let it be for now. Um, we'll just put this out and see how it does. Please let me know what you guys thought. Any questions, concerns, or thoughts, leave down in the comments. Let me know what you thought. Um, I will be going over them likely in the next episode. Uh, when I have my first guest, so we'll see how that goes. But for now, thank you guys so, so much for tuning in to watch. Uh, if you made it through all the way to the end, let me know. Let me know what you thought. Um, and what else? Uh, glory to God. Happy Easter. I love you guys. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Thank you.